Hey guys, welcome to Jeremy's Combo Amp Rescue, where we take ailing combo amps that nobody wants and turn them into awesome heads. Anyway, uh, got another thing today for you. So I've done a couple videos recently with this Mark III Red Stripe. Uh, it's pretty much all stock. A um, couple little things like it's had the OT replaced with possibly out of Mark V because it's a huge OT. Um, anyway. I wanted to do a comparison of this today. I've had a number of Mark III's, uh, and this one I'm gonna be putting up for sale shortly, by the way. But what I haven't had, I've had a few blue stripes, red stripes, you know, I've played green stripe, never played a purple stripe, and I hadn't played a black stripe until, dun dun dun, daddy found this. So this is a early black stripe with the 105 power transformer. Yeah, yeah. So these are both DRGs and I'm going to set them up exactly the same with the exception that if you look at your 6600 here, in order to kind of balance them out, I did have to goose the 6600 on the red stripe because it's slightly darker just in general, uh, to get them to kind of balance out on the tonal palette. But everything else is gonna be knobbed exactly the same. Uh, I'm just gonna play a riff from a song that I'm working on for my band uh, that starts out on rhythm two and then goes into the lead channel. Uh, exact same setup on both. I'm even gonna use the same tubes. I'm gonna use 6L6, the preferred series tubes that I like, and I'm also going to use my trick of the Jan AT7 in V2. So I'm going to do all that exactly the same on both amps. So you can kind of hear the fundamental difference between an early black stripe, which is definitely much more C plus esque, especially with the 105 compared to the red stripe where, you know, the reds, blues, and greens were a lot more aggressive. They had a little bit more hair on them. Uh, just as the times had changed back in those days. So check it out and let me know what you guys think about the tone. All right, later. Thank you. 